going to talk tonight about the final months of the American war effort against the Japanese Empire in World War II. The Americans referred to it constantly as the empire. They would be sitting around the chow hall saying, you know, I wonder if we're going to have a big one going to the empire tomorrow. We'll find out. My book, Mission to Tokyo, which is my reason for being here tonight, is about the experiences of American B-29 Super Fortress bomber crews in the final period of the war against Japan. The B-29 Super Fortress, the most modern military aircraft of the war. Now this particular photo, which I'm going to pass around the room, happens to be a post-war photo, but it does give you an idea of what a B-29 looks like. As you know, on the morning of August 6, 1945, with uh, Colonel Paul Tibbetts in command, a B-29 named Enola Gay, named after Tibbetts' mother, took off from Tinian carrying a uranium gun type atomic bomb that had never been tested, flew it to the target city of Hiroshima, carried out the mission more or less as planned, bombed Hiroshima, uh, killed perhaps 40,000 people initially with many more to die later. No one in the Japanese leadership in Tokyo knew the dirty little secret, which was we did not have a third bomb ready to use. At this point, Mr. Dorr had a lively question and answer session with the audience. Then he went on to sign some autographs. This is Bob Kovacs reporting for Annandale Arts.